Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to a follow-up explanation video about advanced handling flags on cars in GTA Online. Now, I highly recommend watching the video linked on screen and in the description before this one if you haven't seen it already, as it explains in more detail what advanced handling flags are and why Rockstar included them on new cars. But the short story is that most cars from the Southern San Andreas Super Sport series and After Hours DLCs came with two distinct characteristics. One was that their suspension was extremely bouncy, causing a lot of instability, with the other being that their engines would rev up in very strange ways and hit the rev limiter often, meaning that they were slower when riding over kerbs, unlike other cars in the game. So this meant that cars like the Entity XXR, the Taipan, Swinger, Flash GT, Cheberek and many more were all very different to drive and not in a nice way. These characteristics were added via some lines of code in the handling files under the heading Advanced Handling Flags. Now, all of those cars still drive in exactly the same way, so if you're expecting any changes to say the Entity XXR to make it quicker, that hasn't happened. But with the Arena War DLC, we have seen some changes to the flags that have been applied to the new cars. All non-arena cars in this DLC have a new advanced handling flag, which means that they don't share the same horrible engine revving of the earlier cars. However, the bouncy suspension characteristic remains. Now the only non-arena car from the Arena War DLC that doesn't have any advanced handling flags at all is the Schlagen GT, so that will actually drive like most older cars in the game, which is going to be nice. The rest, however, such as the Toros, Clique, Itali GTO, Divest 8 and a lot more, will all be pretty horrible to drive over any bump or curb in the game. They'll spin out randomly and act very unpredictably, even if you hit a bump perfectly straight. And it's all caused by this new handling flag which retains the bounty suspension attribute from the previous iteration of these flags. Now, the interesting thing is that the previous advanced handling flags were seen as a way to stop curb boosting. That is the idea that cars go faster in GTA when hitting bumps and curbs on the side of the road. With the advanced handling flags on the cars from the previous two DLCs, they were actually slower when going over bumps. And with a bit of tweaking, that attribute would actually work quite well to at least minimize any benefit from curb boosting. The After Hours vehicles were slightly better than the Super Sport Series cars in that respect, and I was expecting them to, you know, improve on that further. And although it was a bit of a change, them not reacting the same in terms of engine revs over bumps was never really the biggest problem from those old advanced flags. The main issue was the way that the cars reacted over bumps in terms of their suspension. And it's really strange that Rockstar have decided to retain that new aspect of the flags, but get rid of the main reason for including them in the first place. All of these new cars can now curb boost to higher speeds again, meaning it's only those from the previous two DLCs that can't out of every car in the whole game. Now, it seems clear at this point that they're just testing things out for the next version of the game, and it would be of course nice if they didn't do it with multi-million dollar cars that are going to be released for the, to the public who may spend real money on them and instead just keep this testing in-house. But I'm all for them trying to improve the driving experience for the next game and get rid of some of the rather weird physics that we see in GTA 5 such as curb boosting. But clearly having cars with really bouncy suspension does not improve the driving experience for anyone and it baffles me that they decided to retain that part of the previous advanced flags whilst getting rid of the whole reason that they were included in the first place. But I guess that's Rockstar for you, I'm just here to report on the changes that we've seen. Now I've said this before but I am going to say it again, I would love to talk to someone at Rockstar and I don't mean the community team, I mean someone who is actually on the ground level programming these cars. My emails are open, we can talk on or off the record. I'd just love to get some insight into what's going on with these cars and the mindset that the guys have who are programming them moving forward and maybe just have a conversation about the future. 
but regardless, for the rest of us, we need to all be prepared for some really bouncy and unpredictable cars with the new Arena War drip feed vehicles over the next few weeks. The Schlagen GT is going to be the only respite for that. I really can't wait to test them all. <laughs> But that's pretty much it for this video guys, I hope it's helped, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and like I said, check out the first part of this video which will go into more detail about these advanced handling flags linked down below in the description. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.